The Anaheim Ducks players Ryan Kessler and Patrick Eves are expected to miss the entire season on the LTIR due to their career-ending injuries. Kessler underwent hip surgery in May, after which he was deemed unlikely to set up for the following season. He collected 8 points in 60 games for the Ducks in the 2018-19 season. Eves was limited to 7 initial contests last season and also appeared in 7 of the AHL's San Diego Goals games. The 35-year-old forwards have been Anaheim Ducks teammates for the last 3 years, with Kessler playing for the club the last 5 campaigns after spending 10 seasons with the Vancouver Canucks. These two players alone just show how far the Anaheim Ducks have come over the past decade as a team. And this looks like their downturn. Now there's obviously some promising young talent that's gonna be coming up for them like Sam Steele, like uh, Lundestrom and like some of the other players that they have, Troy Terry, uh, just to name a few there. Um, I definitely think it's going to be a good time for them in the next five years, but I don't think there'll be a playoff team in this upcoming season. As much as some people would like for them to make the playoffs after after having a poor season last year. I don't see that happening. Guys like Corey Perry wants other teams. They lost some leadership. Guys like Ryan Gislaff are getting up there in age and I don't expect them to keep up their productions. You also have to look at guys like Adam Henrique who just um, you know, had their contract extensions kick in after this season basically they just ended and so you know they're pretty much going in a different direction now i'm not saying adam henry because young either because he is 29 as well but he was signed to six-year contract and he was signed because he was going to be a guy that was going to replace either ryan kessler or ryan getzlaff in the future and while he's obviously no ryan getzlaff i think he can cover up somewhat of a role that ryan get uh that ryan kessler used to play on the team now Obviously, both of the two players that I just mentioned are kind of different, to be honest. They do both play a two-way game, which does help them. And they both bring that leadership factor with Adam Henrique. He obviously has been to the finals before. He's not a new guy and he's not, you know, very... Uh, nervous about things anymore in the NHL because he is a veteran now at this point if you can consider him so so while they are moving in a new direction this is just going to show you how sad uh, the last or how frustrating the last five six years for the Anaheim Ducks organization have been they've been so close they've been right there uh, going on deep playoff runs but they were never able to take that next step look back at the 2017 playoff run against Nashville they lost the seven games look back at the 2015 run where they ended up losing in seven games to the Chicago Blackhawks and they lost six to two in game seven at home so that's disappointing as well and I feel like you know all of that when that kicks in and these players start to understand that their careers are coming to an end they will realize that you know we should have taken a much better um, care of ourselves at that time in order to get uh, to you know give ourselves a better chance to win so I definitely feel the Anaheim Ducks pain right now, especially their fans, and I understand that they're excited for the future. So let me know what you think about the Anaheim Ducks uh, down in the comment section. Let me know what you think this means for the Anaheim Ducks as a whole when you see guys like Ryan Kessler, uh, Kessler and uh, Patrick Eves being put on the LTIR for the whole season. And this doesn't come as a surprise because they did suffer pretty significant injuries that I do think have some life with threatening stuff on them. Uh, it could impact their lives and how they live it after their hockey careers. I mean, I think everyone understands at this point that the, their careers are over. And that's why I said at the start of the video that these injuries were career ending because I just didn't see them coming back. And when you see a guy like Patrick Eves who's come out and said that his concussions have you know, been while they've been going positive for him and he's been recovering well from them, you can definitely see that it's taking a toll on him. You know, concussions is nothing to play around with. And especially in Ryan Kessler's case, you know, with ribs and with him having some other back issues and, you know, his body issues, especially the bone stuff, um, you know, that's definitely something that you don't want to play around with either because that can also uh, have a negative impact on your body after the hockey career. You could always end up feeling that pain every time you wake up in the morning and I don't think Ryan Kessler wants that. So hopefully he recovers fully. Hopefully he, you know, just to, you know, they terminate his contract or whatever. They just put it on the LTIR every single year so they don't have to deal with it. And just, you know, for the sake of that, um, I hope he retires as a Vancouver Canuck, to be honest, because I feel like that's where he was 
uh, mostly efficient. I feel like when he came over to Anaheim, his first two years were excellent, don't get me wrong, but after the 16-17 season, after he put up 58 points, 22 goals, 36 assists, his production fell off completely because he only put up 18 points in 56 games and then only ended up having 4 points in like 28 games last year and you could definitely tell that his career was pretty much over at that point.